This is Keith Berkelhammer and this is Reef Bum TV. Water on the floor? That is a reef keeper's nightmare. If that happens, then you'll want to know about it sooner than later. In this video, I will take you through the process of setting up a Neptune Systems Advanced Leak Detector. I mounted the ALD module close to my apex and then connected it by inserting the included cable from the module to an Aquabus port on my programming energy bar. You also have the option to connect it to an Aquabus port on the base apex unit, really whatever is more convenient. There are two types of leak detectors. The first is a solid surface leak detector, shown here, which should be placed on solid surfaces. The other is a low profile detector meant to slip into small spaces such as underneath the carpet. There are four ports on the module to connect four different leak detectors. I have two, so I inserted the jacks into the first two ports, S1 and S2. After connecting the ALD, four new tiles appeared on my Apex Fusion dashboard. They were labeled as SWX4 underscore 1, SWX4 underscore 2, and so on. The default status is labeled open, which means dry. When they get wet, it switches to closed. The next step is to tie the ALD module to the alarm outlets on the Apex. For email and text alerts, go to the outlets button on the Apex Fusion dashboard and open up the base underscore email outlet. I added in the following for my first switch. If SWX4 underscore one closed, then on. I put in a similar line for my second switch. I only have two switches, so I didn't need to add anything in for the other two. And just a reminder while I'm doing this, to get the actual alerts, you will want to make sure that Apex Fusion already has your email and text messaging info, which can be inputted under settings and notifications on the dashboard. And just make sure that you save the programming by hitting the cloud button. I highly recommend testing out the electronic alerts to make sure everything is functioning properly. Finally, I set up the audible alarm that comes out of the Apex base unit. To do this, I go back into the outlets button on the dashboard and click on the base underscore alarm outlet. I add in the same programming I added for the text and email alerts. I then save it. You have the ability to program the leak detector with essentially anything. For example, you can link it to a return pump and have it shut off if a leak is detected. Pretty cool stuff. Well, that's it. A pretty simple set of process for some peace of mind. For more videos, go to reefbum.com or visit the Reefbum channel on YouTube.